Hello, I am Zarkoon, this is World of Warships Legends, and today I want to talk to you about how to play destroyers effectively. We've got a domination mode game on the map Haven, and we are in the premium tier 5 German destroyer T61. We are the only destroyer on our team, and as you can see on the enemy team roster, they only have one destroyer as well. That destroyer is the tier 5 tech tree German destroyer, Gata. And while there are some differences between the T61 and the Gata, both of them have a similar sort of utility and can do similar things. But this game isn't about the T61 specifically, or the Gata specifically. Instead, I want to talk about some general principles that should govern your destroyer play, particularly when it comes to domination mode games. And the first thing you have to understand is that positioning in World of Warships Legends is pretty much 90% of the game. And sure, you have that sort of rock-paper-scissors element to the game, where battleships beat cruisers, cruisers beat destroyers, and destroyers beat battleships. All that kind of rock-paper-scissors element is part of it, but positioning is 90% of that. For example, you don't want to position your battleship broadside to a bunch of enemy battleships and get citadeled and sunk quickly. You want to angle... You want to make sure you're not taking fire from too many ships, that kind of thing. And with destroyers, I've said before that they're the most influential ship class in the game. A lot of that influence boils down to the liberties that destroyers enjoy versus other ship classes when it comes to their positioning. Destroyers are the stealthiest class of ships in the game, and spotting is also a very important mechanic. Because destroyers have good concealment, it means they can move into positions that would be impossible for a battleship or a cruiser, say. And this allows them to do things like take the capture circles, the objectives here. Securing those gives you a source of points for as long as you hold them, which contributes to building points toward winning the game. Now, we did sail into this Bravo cap here, but we left it when we noticed there were two cruisers inside of it, and now we're kind of stuck here. At Tier 5, this isn't so much of a mistake as it would be at maybe Tier 6 or 7, where you have a lot of radar cruisers. We don't have any radar cruisers. Radar is, of course, the consumable that is pretty much exclusively found on cruisers. I think it is, in fact, exclusively found on cruisers. And if they pop that consumable and you're within its effective range, they'll spot you through islands or through smoke screens, whatever. We don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about anybody using radar, but we don't want to get close to any of these enemy cruisers either. So we got out of the cap, we launched torpedoes at that Aoba, and we took him down. That clears the cap of any enemy ships. Notice we do have a cruiser trying to take the Charlie cap, but he is spotted by my teammates who are able to shoot at him, and so they're going to reset him. Hopefully he's not going to take that cap. Meanwhile, we're going to get into this cap. Nobody can see us, and so nobody's going to be able to shoot at us, which is hopefully going to allow us to take it. And that right there just illustrates the utility of destroyers as far as positioning goes. Take a look at the enemy destroyer, though. He's there on the eastern side of the map. We can see his grayed-out icon near an island. And we've got a lot of friendly battleships over there. And we can sort of tell what he's trying to do. Note his position. Behind that island, he doesn't have a line of sight on any of the ships down here in sort of the eastern, southeastern section of the map south of the Bravo cap that I am currently taking. He's got, he doesn't have eyes on him, he's sitting behind an island, sort of just waiting to go out there and torpedo battleships and deal damage. And this right here I think is indicative of the mindset that governs destroyer players. I'm not trying to pick on this Gata 
or single him out or insult him or anything. I'm just pointing out that he's doing what I see a lot of other destroyer players doing, and that's chasing damage. Now, we haven't been chasing damage, but we've dealt damage, 28,000 damage, and we've killed two cruisers with our torpedoes in the process of doing that. But that hasn't been our goal. Our goal has been to take this cap. We killed the Aoba because he was inside of the cap, and we killed that Exeter over there because he was the closest enemy ship to the cap, and potentially he could have pushed in. Now that we've secured the cap, we are going to start trying to perform our other role, which is spotting. We've got eyes on this Furutaka out here, and this Dunkirk, and... Ideally, what we want our team to do is take advantage of the island cover. Since we're spotting these guys, any cruiser and even any battleship on our team can put themselves behind any one of these islands on the Haven map and shoot at the enemy ships. If they do that, they aren't going to be spotted by the enemy ships they're shooting at, and us spotting those enemy ships is going to allow our teammates to continue shooting at them Hopefully they're going to do it from positions where they're not likely to take much, if any, return fire from the enemies, and that's ideally what you want to do in a destroyer. And while you're doing all of it, you can of course launch torpedoes at targets that are pushing toward cap circles, like this Dunkirk who looks like he's about to go into B. We send some torpedoes at him and punish him for pushing into the cap. He's got almost no health left, and all our teammates have to do is take a couple more shots at him, and just like that, he goes down. Now we're up to 46,000 damage, which isn't a lot, but we've done much more important things. We've done some spotting, and we've done some capping. When you are playing destroyers, particularly in domination mode games, Spotting and capping should be your primary objectives if your goal is to win the game. Doing damage to ships is secondary to that, although one of the goals should also be to counter the enemy destroyers. And countering doesn't necessarily mean killing them, it could simply mean keeping them spotted. Often it probably means shooting your guns at them. But you can see the enemy destroyer on the red team is dead, and so that gives us essentially the liberty to go out here, spot these battleships, and even torpedo them now. In fact, this game is pretty much wrapped up. It basically ended as soon as their destroyer decided he wasn't going to try to contest any caps at all, and instead was going to try to get damage on battleships. And I don't want to go out here trying to give the impression that I'm some sort of super Chad Unicum player. I'm not. I'm probably average and at times maybe even pretty far above average. I like to think I know what I'm doing and I understand the strategies and tactics that make for good play in this game. But at the same time, I can't really tell anybody how to play this game or how to have fun. Ultimately, that's the goal of playing any video game for most people, is to have fun. Maybe to feel a sense of accomplishment and achievement as you master the mechanics of the game and get better at it and all that kind of stuff. And who am I to tell somebody that just sort of casually plays this game in a destroyer that fun can't be had as far as going out and torpedoing battleships and getting a lot of damage. Obviously, I really can't make that argument to somebody who finds that fun. But what I'm trying to do is give you some general principles and maybe encourage you to think a little bit differently when you go out there playing destroyers. Your goal is not to deal the most damage possible. Your goal is to spot ships and take caps, especially in domination mode. Now if you get a standard capture the base battle, obviously there's only two capture points in that, and most of the time your goal is not going to be to capture the enemy base, but instead just to position yourself to spot 
and if you're in a torpedo boat maybe torpedo places on the map where the enemy is pushing in to give your torpedoes a better chance to hit and to disrupt any pushes toward your team. So those are your goals. Spotting, capping. That's what destroyers are for, and everything you do in a game ideally should be geared around that, including doing damage. You want to pick the targets that are most relevant to the outcome of the game. That is, targets that are closest to cap circles. It doesn't matter if there are battleships, for example, hanging out south of the Bravo cap, like my battleships were doing. All they can do is shoot at the people that are spotted, either because I'm spotting them or maybe they're spotting them. They're not getting into the cap, they're not taking it. So that enemy Gata trying to torpedo them, not really a winning play. Yeah, they're shooting at his teammates, but his teammates can angle, they can disengage, they can go behind islands, they can take the Charlie cap, they can push into the Bravo cap, and they can try to get me out of it. The destroyer is not really doing anything to affect the game, is what I'm saying. In other words, chasing damage on big ships and hoping to get big damage numbers not great and you can see that pretty much all of the other ships in this game are essentially treating this like it's a team deathmatch type of game this is not a team deathmatch type of game it's a strategy game and your goal shouldn't be to try to kill all of the enemy ships on the enemy team especially in domination mode. Your goal should be to secure at least two caps or the majority of caps. And, you know, right now, my team has an advantage having me on it as a destroyer. Otherwise, it's two battleships versus two battleships, and this could go either way. This California is too far away from my two friendly teammates, so I'm keeping track of his position. I'm keeping spot of him. These guys would not be able to shoot at him or know where he is if I was not here, and right now they're both busy with the other enemy battleship. Now I'm launching torpedoes at him, but I'm not going after him, not trying to kill him. I'm just trying to take this cap. Realistically, this guy is never going to be able to take this cap back from me after I flip it. In fact, he doesn't even want to come into it right now. He knows I'm here, and he knows that pushing into me likely means he's going to eat some torpedoes. So he's going to sail away from the cap and continue trying to shoot at my teammates. What I'm doing here is something that I think a lot of destroyers would have a difficult time doing, and you see that shot coming into the California. It's kind of hard to tell being in being confined to the view of your ship on the map whether you're actually spotting a ship for your teammates to shoot at but i believe in this case i'm spotting the california now he's still spotted even after i lay smoke because he just shot his guns and he's subject to the smoke firing penalty at this point what i'm doing is farming damage i'm shooting at the california maybe trying to light a fire on him getting some he penetration damage and there's a fire and i'm doing it from the safety of a smoke screen he can't see me so it's very unlikely he's going to shoot at me and if he does shoot at me it's going to be pretty hard for him to hit me since he can't see me and his guns can't lock on to me so yes what i'm doing here is farming damage but the reason i'm doing it is because we have three out of four caps and essentially it's me and two friendly battleships versus two enemy battleships there's nothing else left to do in this game in terms of winning it. Even if these battleships take down one or maybe even both of my teammates, we're still in a position to win because we have the objectives. And I'm out here spotting this California. I don't know whether he can see my teammates, but my teammates can certainly see him thanks to my spotting. And therefore, they're able to shoot at him. They're able to have options. They can potentially conceal themselves so he can't shoot back, and they can continue to lay down fire on him. And that is what a destroyer is for, spotting and capping. If you've ever been in a ship 
on the receiving end of fire coming from a source that you can't see, then you can thank the team's enemy destroyer, most likely for spotting you, and his teammates for being in a good position to take advantage of that spotting. And that is essentially why destroyers are the most important, arguably, and the most influential class of ships in this game. It's not because they have torpedoes and they can get big damage numbers on battleships. It's because they can spot enemy ships and because they can take caps. And that is what you need to do in them. In fact, by the way, there's proof that we were spotting the California for our teammates when we went behind the island and lost sight of him. All of the shots that our teammates were getting on him were because of our spotting. That also nets us XP. It may not be as glorious as getting dev strikes on battleships with torpedoes, but that's what it takes to win the game. You can see we're top of the leaderboard even with a mediocre amount of damage done. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.